All right. Hello and welcome, everybody. Um, appreciate you guys all being here. We are having some some small technical issues right now when it comes to sound. Uh, so we're just working our way through that. Uh, we've gone live. But, uh, so let's give this an idea. It is not. Is it something that you might be able to join through your phone? Uh, that is possible. I can make up a to get back. Okay. Um, yeah. So for for for, for current for current moments, uh, Richard, uh, as you guys have seen in the um, in the title of this, as well as in the um, in the announcements. Uh, He's gone from truck driver to a professional trader, and he's currently uh, on his way to uh, getting out of his nine to five. So um, that being said, he is still in his truck, um, and he has a, a a truckload right now of potatoes which need refrigerating. So that noise you can hear is kind of a it's disrupting the 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 sound or his microphone getting in. So we're just trying to just trying to figure that out. Uh, so give us a give us a couple of minutes here for him to come back in and and we'll we'll get started. Is that any better? Oh, now I can't hear you. Yeah, sorry, I was, I was, I was muted. That is a hundred times better. <laughs> All right. uh, we'll do it from here then. Yeah. So, well, um, <laughs> I'll, um, I'll, I'll, I'll keep you updated as, as, as we go. Um, it is a bit more laggy on the phone, uh, but that is, that is absolutely fine. Um, we can, we can deal with lag. Although you were, you were like a what? What's the the Wally robot? Where it's like Wally, you're like the robot <laughs> on the last one. <laughs> Great, awesome. Well, look, um, Richard, I uh, I want to kick this off uh, with a little bit of an introduction to um, to yourself and and where you started. Obviously the title of this of this of this uh, interview today is is pretty self-explanatory uh, Richard has has joined uh, alpha traders and joined us here uh, last year um, and begun trading uh, as a truck driver and became a professional trader uh, in under 12 months so that's what we're going to be going over today uh, I do want to run you very quickly down memory lane um, Richard, if you will, if you will let me hear, but this is from the 6th of May, 2022. You said you came into the discord, uh, about a week or two prior. And you said, does anyone have any good recommendations on a trading form trading platform for beginners, possibly one that I can do fake trades on to get my feet wet. I am debt free and make a six figure income in trucking. So I want to start building capital, which I can do fairly quickly and would like to be learning a good platform while I am. Thanks in advance. To which Martin said, do you, do you mean trading stocks or crypto? And you said stocks and crypto, uh, which was, uh, which was a, a fun little, fun little one for me to look back on. And, you know, this was you here at the Alpha Traders annual retreat in Temecula, California in October uh, of 2022, a mere four or five months 
down the road, uh, well on your way to profitability. And here is, um, you know, your post from just the other day about you becoming a fully funded trader um, and are now on your way to removing that nine to five. So a pretty quick little, uh, a quick little journey there to go on. Um, and it's been one that has been in incredible to watch, not just from my eyes, uh, but from everyone. And I know that, that you know how much attention you get in the discord. You, you've kind of become uh, a mini celebrity within alpha traders ecosystem. You know, we've even got people and members within different communities who watch our alpha alerts and watch our stuff that mention you in other discords. So it's, um, it's been, it's been quite the journey and, it, and it's incredible to see, you know, how far you've come. So that's kind of where I want to kick things off. Um, I'd love to, to really go, go through the whole lot today uh, with you and, and understand where that journey is. There's a lot of people in your shoes that have got full-time jobs and they're looking to get into this. Um, is it possible? How long is it going to take? All of these things. I don't have time. I don't have money. I don't have, you know, cue, cue the, cue the, the little, the mini, uh, the mini um, violin for everyone's, uh, everyone's excuses, but you know, you've seen to overcome them. So, do you want to start us on a little bit of an intro as to who you are and then also how you found trading and how you, you know, got started with it? Yeah, well, um, <clears throat> as everyone knows, I'm a truck driver. I'm 52 years old. Um, been driving uh, on and off for the last 20 years. Um, done a lot of things in my life. Uh, 52 years gives you an opportunity to try out a lot of different things. Um but when I came back to trucking this time, it wasn't something I wanted to do. Um, COVID killed my small business, so I had to come back to something I knew I could do for a living. Um, and pretty much right away started looking uh, for an opportunity of what I could find to get myself back out of trucking again. Um the job itself, I mean, is anywhere from 10 to 13, 15 hour days. Um, no social life whatsoever, um, except for me and my doggies back there in the background. Um, so, yeah, I wanted to I wanted to find something to do. Um, uh, trading about the only thing I knew was that there was a stock market and very rich people, very smart people made a lot of money doing it. And you had to have a lot of money to get into it. That was my premise behind trading. But then I uh, found NFTs and it was in the uh, boom of no substance NFTs that I jumped in. Um, so, I bought a lot of NFTs. I lost a lot of money doing it. Um, and finally, I was like, okay, I got to start searching for people who are in the NFT world who are going to tell me how to do this, basically an alpha group. Um, tried a couple of those. They didn't work out and came upon ATCC and said, okay, this is my last shot. If, if this doesn't work, I'm out of NFTs. I'll, I'll try to do something in the stock market if I can figure out how. Um, lo and behold, that was, you know, that was the beginning of, of everything. It's always, it's always those last ditch efforts. You're like, this is it. This is my last go. I'm either going to make it work or, or that's it. I'm done. And it's always those that, that sort of, um, you know, really spin things into a, into such a, a whirlwind of, of success you um you started richard in semi-professional or professional poker you have to correct me on that one um before joining trading um so tell us a little bit about before you started trading your your poker experience um because obviously there's there's a lot of really um niche correlations between poker and, and trading um so yeah tell us about your poker experience and, and how that kind of transferred into you even starting trading 
Yeah, I I started playing poker heavily when I first started driving a truck in my early 20s. Um, paid for that education uh, dearly, uh, but it was a game I loved, uh, and I, I I was really just like trading. I put myself, you know, I got a coach, I joined some groups, uh, read a ton of books, watched tons of videos, played a lot of poker because I wanted to get good at the game. Um, I would have loved to have become a professional poker player, but, uh, in that sense, it is a very, very hard life. Um, I was semi-professional. Um, I've traveled the country, played in uh, a lot of poker tournaments, major poker tournaments. Um, but in poker, once you get past the, this is a game point, you start learning about risk management, uh, bankroll management, you know, how to put the odds in your favor, um, how to calculate the odds in a hand to know that even though you might not have a hand, it's worth anything at that point, you might be willing to put a huge bet down because the odds are in your favor. Um, risk management of, you know, only taking a certain percentage of your bankroll to the table uh, if you lose it, you get up, you walk away. You don't put more out there trying to get anything back. Um, you know, knowing how much you want to win in each session uh, to count it as a good session and then walk away. Um, so, yeah, I mean, and the psych psychological part of poker, I mean, you're playing against another human being. So the psychology of it is, I think, beyond what you encounter in trading. Mm -hmm. um, so all of that uh, for 20 some odd years, unbeknownst to me, really prepared me for getting into trading. I think I was uh, a good six to eight months ahead of a brand new trader that is just coming into trading for the first time. Mm -hmm. I, I want to I lean into on. I want to lean into the last sentence there of being a brand new trader. When you begun trading, um, you know, you're, you're in a truck and you're working massive hours. Do you want to run us through how you even begun trading? Because it is such a massive industry to get into and everyone has their own strategies and everyone's strategy is the right way. And you know, where do you, where did, where did you even start? How did you even find your strategy? Like, there's just so much to unpack there, you know, run us through maybe the first month or two worth of your trading experience and, and how you honed in on, on making so much progress so, so quickly. Cause I, I, tell, yeah. I, I, agree. I didn't make the progress that you're making as quickly as you did. <laughs> in fact, it took, me, it took me about four or five years to make the progress that you've made in, in 12 months. Um, luckily, like I said, a ATCC, uh, really set me on my path because, um, the sister company, True Trader, um, we had discount code for a membership there. So, and that's what, uh, you and Martin were, were trading at the time when I entered. Um, so I jumped right in there <clears throat> and took that membership and, uh, surprisingly, I mean, there's a lot of content in True Trader, but the learning the actual system, uh, the basics of the system, um, really only takes you about a week or two to really set that in motion. And then it's just fine tuning it and practicing it uh, to get better at it. Um, so I went through the True Trader program uh, and Anything I do to learn, when somebody says, you know, we have a step-by-step -step process, you must follow this step-by-step, -step, I, don't, I don't take that lightly. Um, you know, they have a master class that they tell you to go through three times before you even take the test. Um, so I did that, you know, each, and dry, working my hours, you know, yes, it's hard, it's difficult, but throughout my entire life if you want something bad enough it doesn't matter if you're if it's 20 minutes before you go to bed or or after you get off work before you start doing everything at home um 
whatever it is, whatever time you can find, five minutes to an hour, hour and a half, you're going to, you're going to spend that time doing what you need to do to reach the goal you set for yourself. Um, and before I even started trading, my goal immediately was to get back out of this truck. So I put my time in with true trader, uh, learned their system, uh, paper traded it, not as long as I should have, um, and decided to just throw $500 in an account because coming from the poker world, learning that for so long, I felt I would take it more seriously if I had my own money on the line. Um, I've played free poker online and you guys know, just all, everybody just goes all in all the time. It was, doesn't matter. It's not real money. Um, so I put $500 in an account, um, and started with that. One of the things that is unusually common in the trading world in beginner traders is truck drivers. I don't know why. I don't understand it. Maybe you could shed some light on that. But it seems to me that through all of my trading journey of, you know, five to, you know, coming on, actually, it's, it's, it's probably been about eight years. I don't know why I keep looking at my watch, but it's been about eight years for me. I've noticed that so many people that get into trading are truck drivers. Now, the, the, the natural progression for that is I'm a truck driver. I want to get out of, I want to, I want to learn to trade because, you know, you know, I, that's just what I want to do. But then the progression is instantly to, I don't have internet. I don't have a setup. I don't have a, a common place where I can sit and have an office. I work too large of hours. Um, the, you know, my wi is in and out. I, my schedule's off like, and it's quite literally endless. And then within, it's usually within about a week or two, um, they, they, they drop off and, and it seems to be the same, the same cycle over and over. Um, you have completely abolished that and have actually been the first truck driver that I've seen come in and say, I get it. I'm not accepting all of those excuses. I'm, I'm moving forward regardless. How have you overcome those things? How have you, you know, amended your schedule and the, and the money and the, you know, where do you trade from? How do you trade? internet like all of these little nuances that, that come up um i want you to go through them and i want you to go through them for the point of you're in a position that is a hundred times harder than 99 percent of people that are trying to trade and you've done it and i i want to i want to know how how you've done all this yeah um <clears throat> as you can see i wear glasses so uh that kind of affects um, eyesight, especially great. when you're, <laughs> thank you. Um, when you, when you're looking at charts and things like that, it's kind of difficult. And I just want to start saying that because you'll see the progression I made to change, uh, my circumstances to help me. Um, as far as internet, I mean, my phone gives me a certain amount of gigs, uh, per month. I have a mobile hotspot through Verizon. Um, so as far as internet, I can fire up my laptop anytime I want. I don't like trading on my phone. Um, so internet's taken care of and it was easy enough. Um, the laptop, you know, I started trading and when I found that I was doing decent at it in the beginning, um, I needed to find something to help me give me more real estate because you see these nice setups where people have two, three, five, four screens, whatever they have um, to give them real estate so that they can look at a lot of different things at one time. And, and I just and, want to sort of the, the, the term real estate in this sense, meaning screen area. So not actual real estate. That was something that confused me for a long time when I first got into it. It's screen area. So adding more screen real estate as in adding more screens and adding more areas to, to look at things. Yeah. Um, so they make these uh, three window or three screen extensions for laptops. It's two screens that fit onto your existing one. Um, so I, I spent the money on that. Um, it, it worked and it helped, but it's still three 14 inch screens, which for me is really hard to see. Um, with my eyesight. Um, so, uh, 
past that, I decided to, and I don't have them out at the moment, but I can show you that right there where those red cables are, that is two 27 inch monitors on a swing arm that I have mounted in my truck. So now I have the screen area that I need to look at. Um, and it wasn't hard to do. Um, it does take up a little bit of space, but like I said, you do what you have to do um, to, to be successful. So uh, I've went through the progression of trying different things. I've spent some, uh, some good money on everything I've, I've done. Uh, but for a truck, I think I've done the best I can do. 100%. Yeah, it's, um, I'm, I'm actually just, while you're talking, I'm actually searching in the Discord because I know that you posted that set up at, at one point. I'm, I'm really trying to find that so I can put it on the screen here because it's, it's pretty incredible. Uh, and I remember, you know, even last year when, you know, before the IRL event, you very quickly became one of my favorite, one of my favorite people because you were constantly, you know, th there was like a whole bunch of us that were like had multi screens set up and monitors and we're all in our office chairs and we're doing our, doing our deal. And then you'd pop in and you're like sitting down with like swing arms and things happening out of your truck. I was like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> but it was just, it was so impressive. Um, and I think that was one of my, one of my favorite things. And, so let's 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 dive into that you know from that progression of you know you 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 went from having just uh, your phone to your laptop to having a few more monitors that that slid out from your laptop how did you um like what was your strategy what were you trading how was that working were you still on the the morning um, reversal strategy of true trader? Did you move to swing trading? Like where did you go from there once you did have a bit more, a bit more of a setup? Um, while I was moving from setup to setup, uh, from the basic laptop to the extension screens, to the monitors in the truck, um, I fell into the hole that I, I believe pretty much every new trader falls into. Um, and you warned me from the one-on-one -on -one coaching session, the very first session we had was that the more you learn, the more you're going to add to what you have and you're going to end up with something that's humongous and it's completely unnecessary. Um, I don't think you, I don't, as much as I hear what someone who knows what they're doing tells me, and I think every trader, new trader does, it doesn't matter. We, we have to go through that um, to really figure it out. And, and when you hit that point where you figure it out and you say, I'm taking all this off, um, let me stop there and go back. So I started trading the true trader strategy. Um, and I put that $500 in the, in the account. And at one point, I was down $5. So I can't say I've never lost any of my original capital, but I have never lost all of my original capital and gone broke. I have been profitable from the time I put that money in the bank or in the account. Um, I started trading a lot of different things. I started using a lot of different indicators. Um, all the free ones you can get on TradingView I mean, I've had them all up on my charts at one point or another. Um, I've traded order blocks, smart money concepts, uh, revert to trader reversal strategies, <clears throat> uh, trade with me now, uh, day trading system, um, which that workspace is so cluttered. Um, I mean, I, I like it and it taught me some things that helped me out. Um, but yeah, I've went, I've went through probably every strategy out there. Um, I won't say every, but most of the majors um, to try and put together a trading plan and, and some trading rules that fit the way I like to trade, which is very strange to me because I'm a pretty laid back guy, but I, I'm a, I'm, 
I'm a faster trading style. I don't like swing trading all that much. I can't hold something for multiple days. <laughs> it drives me nuts. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I, I work through a lot. Um, and then we'll get to the point of when you actually figure out what's real and what's yeah. helping you and what doesn't, uh, we'll move on from there. A hundred percent. I want to, um, I'm going to give a, a bit of a, an evolution here of where, <laughs> of where this started uh, <laughs> and where this, where this ended. I remember this is what, this is a photo and, and there were similar photos like this that were being posted uh, when we were doing our trading and you're like, I'm joining you guys. And I was like, wow, this is, this is interesting. Um, very interesting. And I'm going to um, jump to then where that went to, um, <laughs> which then got upgraded to a laptop, as Richard was saying just a minute ago, that had multiple monitors on it. Uh, there's a little iPad there on the right-hand side, and then there's a TV up the top there. Um, and even since then, um, I don't have the image. I, 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 would, I could search for it, but I, I don't want to be too distracted trying to search for that now uh, where all of this now is on a big swing arm that, that tucks into the wall and, and it comes out. So it's, it's been a huge evolution as, as you're moving through this of, you know, what it takes and, and where you've, where you've come from and, and, you know, looking back at, um, you know, I, I imagine and here, I'll, sorry, I'll pull it back up. I accidentally pulled it down. Um, you know, looking back at say images that, that that look like that, it's. I mean, I want I want to ask you how how does it make you feel looking at things like that and and now sitting here today in in a in a very a very tidy looking button up shirt, knowing that you're now a funded trader, um, you know, making multiple hundreds, if not thousands, of dollars. A, a day you know how, what's what's the feelings of, of looking at that image yeah i still can't believe it i you know i i know all the pitfalls that new traders fall into and and i've expected them to happen and and i've expected this to take you know three to five years um and it, it's still kind of surreal to me um, when you go back through these to just see how fast um, things progressed for me. Yeah, you are, you, you're, you're really, <laughs> you're really not, not wrong there. It's, um, it's been a, a huge point of, um, how do I put this nicely? Jealousy, maybe? <laughs> 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 no, it it, ha it has, it's, it's been incredible, and and it really has, and it's it's one of those things where I, I think that a lot of people have looked up to you, in the sense that it's just it's it's all in. It's like I, I don't I don't care about what it's going to take, because it's going to work, and I'm 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 all in on it. I'm going to make it happen, and I think the what it was for me personally with your journey wasn't the speed of what you did things, but how you did things. I, and I, I was so inspired by it because me and you are quite different right now, as I, I'm going through something, if someone says, Oh, this is how it needs to be done. I'm like, great. Talk to me. Yeah. You know, I'll, I'll figure it out and I'll come back and talk to you. And, and I, I go down my own little rabbit holes and, and, you know, it'll be two years later. I'm like, probably should have listened to them. And it was, so wild to me watching you for the first probably six months or so you filtered people by their expertise and by their results and you you took on on board all of the information and the uh, help and advice and any kind of assistance that anyone was going to be giving you but you took it and you ran with it like completely ran with it you're like you know i'm i'm not gonna kind of dabble and i'll input this a little bit it was like i'm all in on whatever it was whether it was an emotional or psychology uh, psychological trick or a tip or whether it's a you know a technical strategy whatever it might have been you know and that doesn't just come from here or true trader but you went to multiple different platforms and you and multiple different strategies and mentors and teachers and coaches and multiple different people and you went all in quick and if it didn't work you were all out quick and it was 
it was so impressive. And it's why like there was, I, I just have no qualms with people going anywhere. So I'm like, everyone has to find something that works for them. And and you really did bounce around. You're like, what works for me? What do I resonate with? What do I resonate with? And, and you found it. And, and it was through, as you said before, you don't take things lightly when someone says they have a step by step, you follow it step by step to the T. And that for me has been so far the biggest learning experience watching you is when I want to make things happen, I need to go through the Richard method of find people who know what they're doing and find people who are actually doing it. Not just saying they're doing it, get advice from them and remove everything else, like everything. And you know, that that's been the biggest learning curve for me and, and the most impressive um, part of that. Now we could sit here for the next you know, 15, 30, 60 minutes and continue to inflate your ego, um, which I'm happy to do so. But I do want to, I want to learn more. I want to learn more. And I want to, you know, get to the point where, you know, you have, you went through these different platforms and these different coaches and mentors and you came across uh, prop, uh, prop firm uh, trading. And you, by that point, had a strategy of, I am assuming trading the US 30. So do you want to tell us about how you came into that exact strategy and then your journey through these prop firms? Um, you know, what it takes. Did you crush it the first time? You know, I know you spent a lot of time with, with Chris Campbell, you know, run us through, run us through those things. Yeah. Um, when I pretty much the last strategy that I actually paid for, um, which, uh, was the trade with me now. Um, when I found that, I mentioned it to Chris. Uh, me and Chris had been working together for a little while. Um, at the time, he was trying to create a bot. Um, and we were trying a lot of different things to try to, to try to get that to work. He was doing all the work. He's the coder. I, I was just there to listen to him and kind of throw my ideas out there. Um, but I found Trey with me now, and I really like the system. Um, and me and Chris literally kind of separated ourselves from the Discord for about two, two and a half months. Um, and we were working together every day to learn the system. And, the, and to go back, just make a quick point. The reason I, I take somebody's system and I go through step by step the way they put it out is that I want to learn it as fast as possible instead of moving from here to there to there to here to here and not really understanding anything because I want to know if it works for me so that I can get out quick if it doesn't uh, and move on to the next thing so for me that's time management if you if you decide to learn somebody else's system learn it the way they teach it um, so that you can figure it out quick so but we spent a lot of time on this. And in the meantime, uh, Chris actually brought up the prop firms. And I was against it for a while. Um, you know, I, I wanted to do this by myself with my own money. Um, but the more, you know, I started looking into it, researching it, I'm thinking, you know, yeah, this could take three to five years if I'm trying to save my own money, deposit my own paychecks into a trading account, and then trying to build that trading account. Um, whereas if I decided to go with a prop firm, I can risk what I'd normally risk on one trade. Um, and if I pass, I get four or five times the money that I would have at the by November, which is my goal to get out of the truck and be a full time trader um, for a living, um, you know. And if I fail, then it, it's it's the amount of money I would have spent on one trade. So why not give it a shot? And yeah, I did not pass uh, right off the bat. I've I have blown up a couple of those accounts. Um, Sometimes just because I, I saw an opportunity and I was like, okay, it's either pass or fail. I'm, only, I'm either going to blow this money on this trade or I'll start a new account. You know, if it works, I'm funded. Um, and those never tend to work out. Uh, you've got to treat it like it's your own money to use your risk management and everything else um, to get to that point. 
um, U.S. 30 has become kind of my my trade trade of choice only because my biggest account, my funded account, um, doesn't allow me to trade stocks. I still like trading stocks. I am currently in an audition um, with a different company. That's the only company I've found that allows you to trade stocks. Um, so I am I am still trying to pass that audition so that I have two accounts. Hopefully, to have a swing account and a day trading account. For sure. So, um, I want to. There's one. The one. There's one thing that you mentioned in there, and, and it was and it was Chris. Your progress last year was impressive, it, but it wasn't until you and Chris connected and started building this bond that things really took off. Um, I, I'm not. I'm not saying that 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 he that he is the is the reason for for your success, but. I do want to attribute a very large factor to it, to, to both of you. Um, doing anything, it is vital that you find a community of people who have the same interests, hunger, determination as you. Now, the problem is, is that finding a community, everyone has that community, but finding the actual person or maybe one or two people that, that share that same vision, hunger, determination, drive, the, the the characteristics of as you said like the the spreadsheets and the coding and and figuring all this out is one in a million it, it truly is one in a million and you found that in in chris and i i truly believe that 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 was just a bonfire that that started and and it was a scary amount of progress that that started happening for both of you as things were going on. And I'm looking forward to getting Chris on here very soon uh, to, to, to go through a very similar um, call, but talk to me a little bit about the relationship that you, that you found with, with Chris, how that developed and, and what that has actually done for your trading um, both on the upside and, and even maybe in lightness, if it's done anything on the negative side, you know, I, I, I don't know. Yeah. Um, so I met Chris at the IRL in California. Uh, he was in the discord. We knew each other, um, but we really didn't interact with each other very much. Um, and when everybody else was out sightseeing and, and balloon riding and all that, uh, Chris, uh, along with Tom were, and me, were one of the few people that stayed back um, at the house and we just had a blast um, played pickleball played some golf uh, all of that and me and Chris both have a love of golf um, so we hit it off really good there um, once we left that and like I said I've me and Chris started talking more in Discord. We started uh, learning more, kind of doing the same thing, jumping from this, that to the other to try to find something that worked for us. Um, and when we, when we really found something we thought would, uh, would be it, I mean, I, I, can't, I can't thank Chris enough for working with me one-on-one -on -one away from everything else um, and just really putting both of our brains uh, together to to try to make something work because it did it, it made a huge difference those two two and a half months that me and him were working together um, really really just skyrocketed the way we thought um, and I, I told him the other day, you know, I expect him to be funded pretty quickly because, you know, he's one of the ones out of many that has put in just as much work, just as much time as I have. He's just a little bit behind me and if not catching up uh, and going to surpass me. So, um, yeah, finding finding a group is very hard. 
um, finding an individual or maybe two, um, cause we did have a couple other people in the group come in and help out, um, is like you said, it's almost impossible. Mm -hmm. Um, but, but yeah, if you can, yeah, if you can find that it's, it's invaluable. Mm hmm. A hundred percent. I mean, I, I had, I had something very similar when I was trading, you know, uh, penny stocks. I was, I linked up with a guy named Tasia through Twitter. Uh, he had like 20 followers on Twitter. It was like a full like scam account. And we started like, he was just hammering my DMs with like questions every day. I was like, Oh, this, this guy's annoying. And then we got on a call one day and me and him became, ended up becoming basically best friends. And we spent, hours and hours and hours and hours and hours every single day and and i say that to say that that was the same with you and chris this isn't something where you guys teamed up put all of your knowledge and risk management and experience with poker and and his experience with how data focused he is and how incredible he is with spreadsheets and and you know the analytical mind you didn't guys just didn't put that together and get on one call a day and you're like oh, we'll make this work it was 2 a.m 4 p.m., you know, 11 p.m., 6 a.m. It was like Sunday nights, Saturday mornings. It, was, it wasn't it was stopping. Any time that I contacted you, you're like, well, sorry, I'm just on a call with Chris or we're just on a call. We're just figuring this out. We're just doing this. Anytime I jump in the, I jump in the Discord, you've got screen shares open. And I'm like, have, have they just left it open by accident? I hop in and you guys are like, Brrr. I'm like, it's insane. Like, <laughs> so I, I do want to make the make the point here that this isn't like you guys coming together and just doubling your speed. It's like you guys coming together, quadrupling the workload that you guys are already doing, but then quadrupling the speed with, with, you know, doing it together and, and putting, you know, your strengths in, in together. And it's, it's been incredible to, to, to watch that. And I, I really do recommend for, for anybody here, you, you need to be looking for, for that companion in what you're doing, whether it's surfing or golf or trading or you know if you're into marketing or say like I, I don't care what it is you want to find that person that you can just obsess over things with um because that's when things will, will catapult and it was it was just it, it was perfect watching you guys go through that and, and and really catapult where where are you at now richard where are you at in terms of what are you finding that is working for you what are the struggles that you're currently facing with your trading what are the things that you're that are upcoming that you you're wanting to do you know i said you said that you want to get that funded account for for you know equities um you know give it give us a bit of a rundown on or an update on on, on those types of things now absolutely um you know trading is going well but there are still uh, a lot of things i need to work on um I, in the first week, I was up 4% uh, on my funded account that I got. That's a hundred, uh, sorry, that's a $50,000 account. Um, and that's huge. I mean, that's, that's really, that's more money than I can make in a week driving this truck. Um, but I have a style of trading that I still need to tweak because I find myself, maybe it's patience. Uh, I know it's not FOMO. I really don't deal with that very much. Um, but I find myself, and anytime someone looks at the post I make of my daily results, you'll see that, you know, I won $2,500, but I lost $1,500. Um, you know, and even though my risk reward, you know, I'm, I'm keeping my losses small. I've got a lot of those little losses. Um, and then I finally, you know, I get that trade where I, I enter the trade, I stop out, I re-enter the trade, I stop out, I re-enter the trade and boom, there it goes. Um, so I still have a lot of work to do um, in that, but um I am very happy with it. As far as the st the strategies, um, like you said, I mean, I had as many indicators on my charts as trade my my plan with TradingView would allow. Um, I had the Trade With Me Now workspace, which is absolutely nuts for anyone 
if they look at it for the first time. Um, but that's the, way, and that's the way it works, though, right? The more indicators, the better. Exactly. Until um, I <laughs> stop. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> until I decided I actually. Terrible. Yeah, yeah. Until I actually decided I wanted to pass the funded account, um, I literally wiped everything off my screens except the candles. Um, and I, every day I go in and I check my daily levels, you know, and I'll draw a new line if it needs to be drawn. Um, and and that's what I trade now it is nothing but bars and my own lines um, that I go in on the on the monthly, weekly, daily charts and draw. Um, and then I trade day trade on a five minute chart, uh, for reference and a one minute chart for entries and exits. So, and, and as soon as I started doing that, it, it blew my mind. Why, why do I have, why is all of this other stuff there? And don't get me wrong, I mean, there's people that use it and in their trades plan and strategies that work great. Um, and I still throw, you know, some things on here and there, just a fib every once in a while on a daily chart to see swing levels, um, stuff like that. But when I'm, when I'm in the moment trading, it's my own support and resistance, SMAs, EMAs and candles. What do you believe was your biggest struggle over the past 12 months um, in, in, in your trading that you, you believe would help somebody who's on the start of their journey? Um, I think... The one thing that I've been told by pretty much every professional out there is paper trade it until you prove yourself profitable uh, before you start throwing your own money at it. I say that even though I didn't really follow the rule and I'm successful as a trader, I think that could have even shortened my time a little bit more. Um, you know, you can look at all the strategies in the world, um, and you can start throwing money at them. It, it doesn't work until you actually get on that screen and start doing it yourself. And the best way to do it is through paper trading. Um, and look at your win rates, log your trades, run the stats for a month or two, at least a hundred trades and see what the results are. Um, I didn't do that very much. Um, I still, to this day, don't log all my trades. Um, and I, a lot of that is, you know, I'm still driving 13, 15 hours a day, 10 hour working 10 hour days. Um, so I may get to stop for lunch, put in some trades, and then close my laptop and I've got another five, six hours of driving to do. When I get stopped for the day, my, my mind is just wasted. Um, and I don't think to go back and enter those trades. So, you know, getting that discipline of, of tracking the stats and keeping track of the information um, is, is huge. And paper trading is the best way to do that when, when somebody's first starting. Mm. Yeah, I think it's a very important point that, you know, what what's not being tracked can't be improved. It, 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 it cannot, you know, you can do 100 trades and if you haven't tracked them and logged all the different aspects of it, where you entered, where you exit, your risk, where you took profits, what time it was, what kind of market it was on, what was the ticker, like all of these different factors, you can't improve. Um, and, and I think that, you know, I mean, it, it does fall perfectly in line though with when you and Chris linked up that was when things kicked off because I mean I don't know that Chris knows anything else in the world other than other than tracking <laughs> and logging and data it's it, it is 
I hate getting on calls with him because I'm like, you make me feel so incompetent. <laughs> he's he's so intelligent and he's so savvy with that kind of thing, and and he he obsesses over it. And it's so impressive, um, and 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 it's it, it really is vital to to success. Which is, I mean, why you said that he's going to be, you know, next, and um, and and why it was such a big catalyst. You good? I've lost you. <laughs> that is, that is, that's okay. Well, while you're coming back, let me know when you can hear me. Um, and we'll continue. I do. Um, I do want to say one thing though. Um, while while Richard, while you're while you're figuring out the the technicals there, is that I think that something that would be really beneficial to anybody who is struggling with their trades or you know trying to look for the exact path forward, um, if if you will, as to how to get there, I would go back into Alpha Traders Discord. I would find Richard's name and you just go to the top right hand corner and you type in sloth father and it, and it comes up, uh, click on old, right. And, it, and, it, and that will sort all of his messages from old to new. Now it is a journey to go on and you can see in real time, um, you know, you could do this in half a day, <clears throat> go through and you can see the progress in real time. All of these messages coming through and you know, it was something that, Richard's not just posting his trades. He's posting full deep analysis into everything that he's learning, into what he's finding, into what's working, what's not working, how bad he got crushed one day and then how up he was the next and, and why, you know, and what he learned from those things and, and really deep, deep dives into all of his strats and trading and, uh, and lessons that he was learning. So I think that would be a really beneficial, um, exercise for anyone to do who is looking to 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 understand that um i mean we may have to may have to cut this cut this a little early today um these i mean these are the these are, these are you're seeing in real time what the struggles are of trading um trading from a truck and and living living out of a truck and i guess this really puts into perspective the struggles that he has had to overcome with his trading with the internet, with how his setup is, you know, where, where he is in the world. Like, you know, there's times where, um, you know, he'll be trading in the mountains of Utah and then he'll be down in New Mexico and then in, you know, South Georgia, it's, it's, it's pretty crazy. And, you know, sometimes it's snowstorms and, and whatnot. So it, I think it gives a, a real, a real perspective as to the hurdles that have been overcome to, to be, to be where you are. You back? Sorry about that. Yeah, I call interrupted, and I always lose audio when it happens. No, you're good. I was saying, I was saying, this is a perfect, like, in real time look at what you have to face every day. Yeah, um, I've literally learned uh, not to put trades on, even though I don't have to touch anything. Don't put trades on going down the road because Wi-Fi hotspots go in and out. <laughs> I imagine, I imagine you learned that hard and fast. <laughs> yes, real quick. Um, awesome. Well, look, um, Richard, we can, we can really start wrapping this up. Um, I really, really appreciate your time um, today, but I think more than anything, I want to acknowledge how transparent you've been on your journey so far and how much that's helped everyone, um, including myself you know, it's, it's been an honor to watch the evolution through time. And as I was just saying, while you're off air, like you were posting everything, every mistake, every, every fuck up, every big day, losing day strategy that you would take, like everything has been shared in great detail. And it's, it's been a, it's been unbelievable to watch from the sidelines. Um, what, what, what is the next step for you? Uh, and where, where are we going to be, catching up on next 
Um, well, the goal is still November uh, to turn in my keys or find a driver for this truck. Um, and I think I'll definitely get there. Mm -hmm. um, from there, I'm going to be traveling around uh, the United States as a nomad trader, uh, hooking up with every sloth I can find um, and having a beer and some lunch. Um, and, you know, looking forward to what uh, Nova House is doing, uh, because by that time, I'm going to be ready to start traveling the world, which is something I've never done and really looking forward to. Um, you know, I, I really want to, to say thank you in this video to you and Martin and Tom and every member of the team, not just the team, but every member of the community. Um, because like I said in one post, it's, you know, if I had used the resources within ATCC, even 20% more than I did, um, you know, the more you use it, the more you ask questions of the other members, the more you ask, you know, one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, stuff like that. Uh, watching Tom, asking Tom questions and daily trading, it just speeds up the process. Um, and I didn't use nearly as much as I should have or could have um, with what you guys offer and are, and are willing to be there for us to learn. Um, but every member out there needs to take full advantage of everything they can. I'm here. If I'm not behind the wheel, I'm here for any member, any time of the day. Yeah. I, 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 I appreciate the kind words. And I mean, you took it out of my mouth. I was going to say that, that includes you. You, <laughs> you're, you're, you're a tool of the community that should be used and, and you, and you've gone and you beat me to it. Um, but no, I, I appreciate it. This is, this, this may, may have uh, caught you, catching you off guard a little bit, a little bit off topic, but um, what's your favorite quote? I'm interested. It's actually on my arm and it says, life is a gamble. Go all in. Well, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know, with that, yeah, that was probably <laughs> Now let's just go all in. Um, <laughs> with that, I mean, it is. You've seen that in in real life in my journey. Mm -hmm. When I decide to do something, I go all in. I mean, it's there's no point in doing anything half-assed. Um, yeah, I mean, you made me write a novel on it the other day. <laughs> <laughs> I figured I was going to be in that book somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, no, your 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 journey lit a fire on my ass. The, the, the <laughs> fact that someone's so all in on something, it's it's what it takes. So absolutely, I love that. Well, Richard, I, I appreciate your time here today, and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, to to catching up <coughs> and having you having you host some of these places um, around the world. Because I mean, that's that's the dream for us as well. Is I mean, that's our it's essentially our what we want is we want to bring people in who want to learn to trade. We want to have them be successful at trading, you know, and we don't even offer a, a one strategy, you know, so we, we, we're just here to help find the strategy and find what works, whether that is with trade with me now or true trader or another firm or, you know, figuring out yourself. Like we don't actually offer the, 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 the step-by-step -step process ourselves. We're actually just here to help you find that somewhere else or, or however it may be. But then once you have found that, build that up so that you can live in these properties around the globe for free essentially. And, you know, you can spend six months in Nashville with a full setup in this mansion or this, you know, tower, whatever it might be. And then you go to Costa Rica and go to these places and, and just hang out with other people who are doing the same thing. So, you know, selfishly, I am getting a bunch of fulfillment out of your journey um so please keep keep going <laughs> um but no i appreciate you and uh you've you definitely inspired me every day so appreciate it yeah my one of my goals is, is is to become good enough i hope uh when these properties start opening up to actually start teaching 
uh, some classes in, in some of these properties that we can't. No doubt. Um, you know. No doubt at all. Oh, it helped me get over my fear of public speaking anyway. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Richard, you have a fantastic day. Uh, be safe out there on the roads, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Tyler.